Tim Marks with the trio wrote this song, and uh, I can't even remember what we what we call it, but uh, but uh, but it goes to a little so solo section. It, it goes longer on those chords, but it goes up a minor third each time, build a little solo, and then back. Not a crazy complicated song or anything, but I thought I'd do a little funk rhythm uh, lesson today and get into some stuff. A couple stories about the weekend, man. Um, First of all, thanks to each and every one of you that has left uh, positive comments about the uh, Billy Gibbons stuff this weekend. It was a full-blown, like, four solid days of hanging hard with Billy Gibbons, man. Um, and a bunch of other great people, too. Uh, Mike Flanagan, uh, Austin, Texas legend on the B3 that plays with Jimmy Vaughn and a bunch of other people down there. I've been making really good friends with that guy, man. He's one of my new favorite people. Cool as shit. Excellent B3 organ player. And just a super cool guy. Uh, he's been staying in town. And uh, we're going to hang today, maybe some dinner, and then uh, go to the five spot and hear McKinley James, Patrick Sweeney, Jason Smay, and those guys tear up the blues. And then I've got my trio gig at about eight, from 8 to 10, so I think we're just going to do all of it and do another big kind of uh, hang now that the dust has settled after all these gigs. Did two sold-out nights at the City Winery where I came out and did uh, two of my songs with Billy and then closed out the night with... Uh, Sharp Dresser Man and, and, and LaGrange and all that stuff, a couple shuffles um, after that. Real cool, uh, just a good hang. Fred Altringham on the drums, Steve Mackey on the bass, of course. My dear friends and like my brothers and family, they crushed it as always. These are top-notch, world-class musicians of the highest order. And um, man, I got, some, I got some negative blowback on some of the uh, Instagram comments and uh, on some of these YouTube comments. And one guy said, uh, you know, super annoying video, horribly edited. Dude, I took clips that I was being sent from random people and just mashed them together for a cool little behind the scenes uh, window into some sold out shows that I thought you guys might want to see. So thank you so much for the guys that appreciate and get what this is. Man, you other guys that, that don't get this and, and, and think that this is some kind of like, you know, uh, uh, fancy channel. <laughs> Dude, go watch somebody else. Uh, I don't have time for it. I'm going to immediately block you and delete your comment uh, from if I see something like that, man. Nobody has time for that shit. And so, uh, man, you know, you just don't, these, these guys just are never going to get it. They, they're, they're, they're already, you know, jealous and miserable uh, over whatever uh, decisions they've made in their lives or whatever didn't work out for them. And so, man, just, just go away. You know, um, and so that's all I'm going to say about that. And then, you know, a couple other guys on the Instagram were like, uh, well, man, you know, uh, you're, you're playing a blues shuffle. You know, uh, you're overplaying, you know, just play the good notes and all these comments. It's like, man, you got they, those guys have no idea what they're talking about. You think I'd be up there, you know, with, with a guy like Billy or making a record with a guy like Uncle Larry or working with the people that I get to work with if, if I was up there, you know, doing the wrong thing or... Or, uh, or didn't have good instincts or anything like that. And so, man, just, you know, those guys are just going to have to go away. But for the rest of you guys that are here, uh, we're weeding out those cats and, uh, and, and we're focusing on the positive and we're focusing on the guys that are here and that understand what this is. Um, I'm not trying to be famous on YouTube, guys. And so <laughs> let's just get that out of the way right now. So thanks a bunch uh, for that, and sorry to throw a little uh, a little bit of uh, negative negative comments in there, but but man, fuck those guys. We don't need that shit, and I, I definitely don't. So um, and it was an amazing weekend, man. The, the stories uh, that I've got from this weekend of just how amazing Billy Gibbons is as a human being, 
I'll, I won't bore you now, but I'll, I'll get into some of those uh, as the week goes on. I'll get into some more of those. But for now, this little song that Tim wrote, simple little New Orleans groove, right? Um, I know you can't hear the drums, you know, on this, but but just that nice little, you know, uh, C9 chord, you know. And then add this little, the, add the A to it, just on the high E string. That's the James Brown thing. And so I'm just feathering this, this rhythm on the right hand, really light touch. It needs to be groovy and floaty. And like, you can almost see I'm trying to like lean back in my chair a little bit to even make the, like to where it's not rushing. It's hard to do this without a drummer, by the way, but, but you know, medium pick, celluloid, nice smooth edges, uh, rounded shoulder, and I'm just floating across these strings. Here's what it sounds like without the amp on. If you want it tighter, back by the bridge, right? If you want something more staccato, back by the bridge. If you want it a little floatier, and I'm kind of hitting a little bit of that bass note, but I'm mainly focusing on upper you know three or four strings of these voicings right and a lot of these are going to be triad based and four string based um uh, uh, mainly triads but so these little tricks i'm just i just want to float those in there man really light touch in this right hand it's pretty much doing this the whole time and i'm letting this hand if i didn't mute with this right hand uh, left hand which is just coming off like this I'm in control of how long that rings. Indefinitely or or right, you know. Uh, that that's just lifting that hand up. So if, so if I'm doing that, I'm constantly speak that I want that I want to speak so getting back to this little James Brown riff on the high E string then go up a half step to resolve that and then don't forget you can always go chromatic up to the four chord so if I go down a half step then chromatic all the way up so so with all these little half step moves up and down you know half step up half step down you know to kind of you know funk up that that root chord a little bit right these little things right these little triads go up to a different uh different section here just that bar chord e take these triads watch so what you're doing is you're taking all these little pieces and you're 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 kind of just tying them all together in a way that is hopefully uh, consistent enough to where it sounds like a part that's supposed to be there, um, and not just random all the time, but but consistent but not not boring. So we're going to take all these little pieces of the, of the vocabulary and mix them into these parts. This the thing I did a couple of weeks ago where I was going like. <laughs> Okay, that's a bunch of parts. That's all triads. First part. Second part. Third part. Fourth part, right? So I did that a while back, and I'm, I'm not going to get into breaking that whole thing down because that'll take 20 minutes. But um, 
that's the idea of that. Like, uh, you know, it's not just going, you know, the whole time. You, you, you want to start there, but you want to increasingly kind of make your rhythm part more interesting or as long as it fits the song, right? So then you can get into these things, like I was saying, um, these little like E7. Don't forget, E, I'm uh, sorry, C, C7. So with my hand position being here, I can, I can grab that, slide into it from a half step. That's really the same as this. Now what that would be, you play it as a full nine chord, right? Go to the four chord, F. I'm jumping around a little bit, but we're basically playing all this stuff in the C, like a four, you know, uh, one, four, five, and C, right? So here's F, F9, right? Suss that, right? There's your nine. There's your sus. G. Basically, basically it becomes like a D D minor seven to G nine. Because but all that is is this. Like if you're playing the five chord, G9 or G7, same thing. If I'm playing this, I can play a D minor triad, resolve into that major third of that G chord. to F, the four chord of C, I'm playing the C minor triad. So it's the five minor of the chord you're on, and that's where the superimposing things uh, start happening that I can show you that are not complicated. You just have to think about it. So it, we're not changing keys. We're still in C, but over that five chord, Mixolydian, which I hate the modes, but but anyway, the the you know I call it the dominant seven scale. It's the same thing. It's all the same notes. I'm just looking at it a little bit differently to kind of get a different sound. So anyway, getting back to these triads, um, another thing you can do that's fun, and this is not really a triad, but this is the um, I just wanted to throw this in there because this is a cool funk chord. It's this Freddie King uh, Hideaway chord. Right? Right, that's C, but anyway, so that's the idea. So here's your C chord. Here's your G shaped C. There's your flat seven, right? Get in the right hand position so you're you're already halfway there. Now I'm gonna play the flat seven on the D string, B flat. play the D note right there with my middle finger, E on the first finger, B string, fifth fret, then the high C on the on the E string. Now that's some kind of E7, uh, sorry, C7. Now raise the first finger. E goes to F. That gives you a sus sound, a nice sus sound. 
So watch, if I play this chord, that's a C, I'm already, I'm set right up there from my dominant seven scale. My hand's not even moving. Oh, sorry. It's been a long, a week, a long weekend. Anyway, so this, so this chord. I'll get into all this. This is going to be a, a kind of a tricky thing, but this will be another lesson maybe. But this is the idea. It's like a, a, a minor seven shape, but on the bottom uh, uh, top rather four strings so so I'm kind of getting away from the four strings on this last part but that's the idea that's the real chord then so You can always play that sharp five. Or sorry, uh, sharp nine. So you can tell, man, I, I don't know anything about three. Uh, sharp nine. That's your Hendrix chord. Right back to C. So the thing is, is just keep the triads in the front of your mind on these funk rhythm things because that's what you want to speak out. That's what's going to keep it tight, clean. And, and really nice. And then throwing in these little single note things like this, watch. And then uh, I, I gotta go here, but but um, on the C9. Watch. That's kind of the idea. Just sharing a few things with you folks to keep this uh, uh, community going. Sorry to beat up on the guys that, that don't get it, but they, they don't get it, guys, and they're never going to get it. Um, had a, a wonderful guy, speaking of great people, a um, wonderful guy, Eric, came down from Bowling Green and shared a pedal with me and Gibbons, um, and uh, we really enjoyed it. Really great sound and pedal. I know he works some with Greg Martin from the Kentucky Headhunters, who's also one of our favorite uh, people, good old Kentucky guys. Uh, anyway, look, I know this is probably a super long video, which I didn't intend it to be. Uh, just circling back around after the weekend. I can't wait to tell you some of these stories. I, I just didn't want this video to get... I try to keep these things under 20 minutes if possible. Um, I'd rather them be around 10 minutes, but it's just hard to get anything in in 10. But uh, hey, guys, just, uh, thanks a bunch. I'm wiped out, man, and I got a long day ahead of me. So uh, I'll surface back again in a couple days. Uh, thanks so much. You know who you are. Um, and, um, I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. I'll just keep, keep sharing stuff with you. Check out the links below. A lot of great stuff to come with Brett Papa and, uh, and Uncle Larry and the trio stuff and all that. It's just, it takes a lot of work. So any help you guys have, you know, thanks so much. Later guys.